ruling on Friday and public congregational prayers in COVID-19 pandemic. By Ahmed Gumi in the, in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Friday prayers are compulsory on every free male Muslim who is sane and mature. It is however not compulsory on females, travelers, slaves, sick people, and when there is fear, individual or general. Fear of anything from people like debtors, police brutality, robbers, or contracting disease in an epidemic. COVID-19 has presented a new challenge altogether. It is not only an epidemic but a pandemic. The difference is in intensity and spread. Whatever ruling that applies to an epidemic, it's more appropriate in a pandemic for sharing the same effective cause or even more pronounced in a pandemic. When Allah in the Quran forbade the scolding of one's parents, he said, Thy Lord hath decreed that ye worship none but him, and that ye be kind to parents. Whether one or both of them attain old age in thy life, say not to them a word of contempt, nor repel them, but address them in terms of honor. Quran 17 verse 23. Allah doesn't need to forbid people from beating them. This is what is referred to as the strongest analogy, Qiyas al Allah. COVID-19 as I have said has presented humanity with an entirely different challenge. That is fear of various degrees. It's a viral disease transmitted by carriers during the latent period of incubation, pre-symptomatic phase, the controversy is over asymptomatic carrier who doesn't show symptoms at all and who are in active disease showing the symptoms. This fear is compounded by some people in denial of the disease, which means they would not bother to see if they are carriers or infected even if they have a mild symptom. They are the worst spreaders of the disease and are the worst effect of this viral trial. COVID-19 is so far the most dangerous contagious disease man has experienced not because of its fatality, but because of its subtle spread at the time of prevalent ignorance and suspicion among humans. To some people even if there is an earthquake, it must be 5G or some conspiracy. The Hajj this year is closed to outsiders. Allah said, and proclaim the pilgrimage among people, they will come to thee on foot and mounted on every kind of camel, lean on account of journeys through deep and distant mountain highways, Quran 22 verse 27. All because of the fear of COVID-19. This made Hajj this year not compulsory for those coming from outside. In fact, Hajj is never for those who are not capable both physically and materially. This confirms that the fear of COVID-19 is real and also a consensus of all people of knowledge. Dissident views that see all people are misled or astray are not to be considered. In an authentic hadith narrated by Malik and Muslim, the Messenger of Allah said, when you hear a person saying, people are gone astray, then he's more astray than them, in another meaning, he's the one that destroyed them. To some people, every Muslim scholar in Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Europe, and Africa, except they follow their views about public events of safety and concern, have gone astray or are agents of anti-Christ or are bought by the devils trying to destroy Islam. Such people have no place in the formulation of Islamic rulings on matters of general concern. This is the injunction of the Quran. Now, so long as the fear is real and accepted by medical experts, it is no longer compulsory to attend Friday and daily public congregational prayers. We said public because doing so is the real source of fear and doubt. You don't know the next person whether he's a carrier or a person in denial, the most dangerous person of concern in this pandemic. However, for those that still pray the Friday prayers in the medically acceptable way or even in the normal way, their prayer is still valid. It's like a traveler who's given the liberty to pray the afternoon prayer of two rakat but decided to join the Jumu'ah or pray four rakat. The only difference is that, if perchance any of them contracted the disease, then he will not enjoy the reward of a martyr. The hadith is specific. Martyrdom is achieved if someone stays put in his home, patiently and seeking the reward of such, knowing fully that anything that afflicted him is the wish of Allah without exposing himself to such dangers. Anything contrary to these conditions is not considered a martyr. An authentic hadith agreed upon. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Tribulations will come in which one sitting down during it, is better than one standing and someone standing during it better than one walking in it, and one walking is better than someone running during it, whoever exposes himself to it, it will disclose itself to him, but whoever has a shelter should take refuge with it.
Epidemic and pandemic are tribulations and chastisements from Allah. Ahmed narrated. From Aisha, she said, I asked the messenger of Allah about epidemics and he told me that it's a chastisement, Allah sends it to whom he wishes and made it mercy for believers. For it will not happen in a place and a man will stay put in his house patiently seeking the reward of his stay, knowing fully that nothing will afflict him except what Allah has written for him, except he has the reward similar to a martyr. People should treat COVID-19 as such, a punishment from Allah and should not expose themselves to it, and follow the instructions of health experts on the subject matter until such a time they decreed that it is safe to return to normal life. Until such a decree, public congregational prayers are not compulsory. May Allah have mercy on us and save us from his chastisement. Amen.